We have spoken in our previous communication with you about the chaos which is developing or which you may be coming aware of within your being and reality. We shared that the chaos has a purpose of awakening a light explosion within your being, creating a powerful healing and awakening of divine consciousness for you to explore in your current reality. The Arcturians shared in their communication with you that we, the Andromedans, are selecting evolved souls who are awake and aware at this time to anchor supreme love through their beings into the earth, to influence and support all of humanity to shift into a vibration of love. With the information of our previous communications in mind we wish to share additional information to support you at this major period of your growth. In order for the light of your soul and the Creator to explode from within your being into a beacon of light, there is a need to be aware of the lesson your soul has come to the earth to achieve and overcome. This lesson, challenge, or hurdle, has the purpose of creating unison between your soul and every reality of your being, for example, your body, orc field reality, mind, and emotions. Often this lesson, challenge, or hurdle, feels like a limitation, something you are being denied. Even though you may have placed effort and focus upon healing or transforming this area, it may still feel out of your reach. It may also be the cause or be manifesting as chaos in your current reality. Any form of chaos is required to be approached from a space of love even amusement and non-attachment if possible. There is no need to activate drama or negative feelings within in response to small experiences of chaos manifesting within your reality. Allow yourself to enjoy being observant with the knowingness that the chaos is proof that you are moving forth to experience light exploding from within your being. For greater experiences of chaos, you are not required to act or react in a certain way, simply to hold love, forgiveness faith, and trust, for yourself especially. Your physical body is your greatest companion for your soul as is your reality. However, your physical body is in tune, sensitive to and aware of your soul, with the ability to embody your soul. This is the greatest purpose at this time. Many of you may know and experience your soul regularly. However, the chaos is forming in order to enhance the bond between your physical body and your soul. If you are aware of the single challenge or hurdle in your life which you so wish to experience, then you may realize that to aid its manifestation, there is a need to either feel the presence of your soul allowing the soul to connect with your physical body. Maybe you have already achieved this so there may be a need to allow the soul and physical body to work in harmony to aid manifestations in your physical reality. Therefore, there is a need to contemplate whether you are being invited to enhance your awareness of your soul in your physical body or in projections into your physical reality. If you are experiencing physical pain, then it is most likely there is a need to focus upon the embodiment of your soul into your physical body. You may or may not already feel the presence of your soul within your heart and emotions. However, there is a need to feel your soul tingling or vibrating within your physical body allowing the soul to make necessary shifts and adjustments, through which greater embodiment will be experienced. If you are experiencing difficulties in your physical reality or your challenge is the manifestation of a situation in your everyday life, then you can recognize there is a need to express the soul working in harmony with the body to more fully anchor these sacred vibrations into your physical reality. This latter request symbolizes that you have already integrated your soul with your physical body. However, the energies are not yet merging with your outer reality. The greatest restriction to your soul's expansion and embodiment is fear. While this soul can overcome and dissolve fear with ease, if fear has been ingrained and has created repeated energetic patterns which exists almost like programming within the body, then this is more challenging for the soul to dissolve because it requires a balanced focus between many aspects of your being. When fear has become a repeated pattern programmed within your physical body, mental body, or emotional body, then it can be released through repetition of spiritual practices to move through the layers of fear, creating healing. Many people upon the earth are becoming frustrated as they feel their desired experience or outcome is not manifesting. This frustration is a part of the healing process between your soul and your physical body, and your soul and your physical reality. Your soul is required to first manifest into the physical body and then into the physical reality through the physical body. 
Your frustration is like the storm of chaos rising from within you. In a storm you would find shelter and rest. During your inner storm of chaos you are invited to find shelter in the love of your heart chakra, and to rest there. This is all that is required to bring everything into balance as well as to become aware of the integrated balance of the soul, your physical body, and physical reality. Do you believe us, the Andromedans, that resting in your heart chakra is all that you are invited to achieve in this moment to heal yourself and reality? Your levels of belief may be low at this time, you may have tried so many different practices and yet nothing seems to support or help you in overcoming your hurdle. It may be that more than ever this hurdle feels impossible to overcome. We understand this as a process of moving into the evolution and embodiment of love. Never give up, instead allow yourself to consciously find new pathways or perspectives to support you. We, the Andromedans, wish to share with you some insights to support you at this time. First understand that your physical body is your soul's companion, therefore your physical body wants to work in harmony with your soul and manifest into your physical reality. Fear is the major limitation of this occurring. We invite you to affirm, my body is my soul's companion. You may also add to the affirmation, the harmony of my soul is experienced in my body. Secondly we wish for you to call us the Andromedans, fourth, to rewire, repair, and restore your physical body's ability to receive the light, love, consciousness, healing, and sacred vibrations of your soul with ease and perfection. I invite the Andromedans forth to enhance my physical body's ability to receive, experience, and embody my soul. I invite the Andromedans to support my physical body in rewiring, reforming, restoring and repairing the divine flow of my soul into my physical body, so I may experience the manifestation of my soul within my physical body, resulting in the shifts and healing I desire. Now is the time for my healing and renewal, I open myself fully to experience the greater unification of my soul and physical body. Thank you. Thirdly, we wish for you to call upon us to rewire, repair, and restore the flow of your soul and your physical body's projection of your soul into your physical reality. I invite the Andromedans to support the merging of my soul and physical body to cleanse, heal, and enhance my physical body and soul's harmonious expression of the truth of the Creator. May my desired experiences manifest into my physical reality and daily life now for me to experience with joy, delight and gratitude. I open myself fully to experience the greater unification of my soul and physical body in order to manifest my soul in my physical reality with beauty, abundance and bliss. Thank you. Fourthly, we invite you to call upon us, the Andromedans, to erase all fear, frustration, hopelessness, anger, lack, feeling unsupported and separated from the divine. Andromedans, with your high vibrational light and consciousness, I invite you to move through my being, erasing all fears that are hindering my reality, creating chaos within my being and daily life. My fear may manifest as frustration, hopelessness, anger, lack, feeling unsupported and separated from the divine. I honor the fear within me for being present. However, I know it is time for my evolution and next ascension shift to take place. This is what I now lovingly command to take place with ease, perfection, and the complete experience of love. And so it is. Thank you. With our light embracing you it will be as if the fear is drawn out of your being and dissolved in our light. All of our practices will support you and guide you further into the experience of your light explosion within. However know that the simplest of practices are also relevant such as remaining in your heart space, focusing upon love emanating from your being, even if you feel you are emanating your love against a storm which is trying to unfold you. At this time your trust is being questioned because of all the energies anchoring into the earth and evolving from within your being. You are being asked, do you trust in the power of the love within your being to heal or create anything you desire to experience? If you do trust, then the answer is easy. It is natural to not trust completely especially if you are not aware of any evidence of the power of the love of your soul and the creator in your reality, however we are all moving into a period where everyone does trust in love, and love fulfills all. 
We are present now to support your healing and to aid the next stage of your evolution which will begin with an explosion of light within you. In compassion and love.